the Duchy of Lancaster explain how it's a document of the last government and not this. As he knows, it was leaked pretty well in full to the Sunday Times, and, and, and so the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster doesn't try to avoid this by simply saying you won't comment on leaked documents. It also went, as I understand it, to the Welsh Government. In response to that leak, the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster said on the Mar Show on the 1st of September, that document, this document, predated the creation of this government and its predictions were the worst possible eventuality. So the impression he was trying to create was that this document is an old document and it's a worst case scenario. He went, he went on to say, and I quote, that he's constantly updated. Thank you. Exactly the point I want to come on to. Given this document is dated the 2nd of August, was this, disclosed, was this produced for this government, the last government, no it's not, or both, check the order. If it was the last government, has this government produced any documents of its own since the 23rd of July relating to Operation Yellowhammer? And it's no good saying we're going to produce them. It, this government's been in place for nine weeks and it's only five weeks and two days to go until the 31st of October. If it was the last government, it's an old document, why did somebody change the title after the late to the Sunday Times? This used to be branded the base scenario. Somebody got hold of an old document, apparently irrelevant, and changed the title. So it's now called the HMG Reasonable Worst Case Planning Assumption. Why was it changed if it's out of date, an old document? Who did it? And can the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster confirm that the rebranded document has 20 substantive paragraphs, each word for word, the same as the document leaked to the Sunday Times? And if it's constantly updated, where are the constant updates? <laughs> Mr Speaker, this is the only document we have, and using this document, taking this document, can he confirm that according to this document there will be significant and prolonged disruptions at ports, that's what it says. The worst disruption is to the Channel Straits, which will be up to three months, and that there will be significant queues in Kent and delays of up to 2.5 days at the border for HGVs attempting to use the Channel routes to France. If the answer to that question from the Chancellor uh, of the Duchy of Lancaster is no, that's not the case, what's he basing his answer on if there's not another document in existence that he hasn't disclosed in accordance with the order to this House? So it's either yes or no based on a document which hasn't been disclosed. I also want to paragraph, uh, highlight paragraph 18 which hasn't ha had the attention that it should have done on the impact of no deal uh, in Northern Ireland, and I know this is a matter the House takes extremely seriously. It sets out the government's planned model. So this is the government's planned model. It indicates that ag the agri-food sector will be hardest hit, disruption to key sectors, job losses are likely to result in protests and direct action across blockages. Prices and other differentials are likely to lead in the growth of an illegitimate economy, and it talks about severe uh, disruption at the border. The, do the document itself concludes that the pressure will be such – Northern Ireland happens to be extremely important to many people in this House – this document this, – this document – this – we are here to scrutinise the government, let us get on with it. This, this document – Mr Speaker – this document indicates that that model that the government is proposing, set out in its own document, it's light, it's, it's going to come under now, such pressure it's unlikely to survive for a few days or weeks. So the government's preferred model for Northern Ireland, on its own assessment, is unlikely to survive more than a few days or weeks. That's not a plan, a plan for a model that won't last more than a week. There must be an update, and where is it? And can I also confirm, uh, with the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, whether he has received any representations from the energy sector – this is very specific – about the impact of oil and gas supplies to the UK in the event of a no deal. 
Mr Speaker, anyone watching today's proceedings and, and still thinking that somewhere lurking there's a clever and cunning plan to get through the chaos of the government's own making needs to think again. The government's lost six out of six votes in Parliament. The Prime Minister's lost his majority. He's lost his case in the Supreme Court. The chance. The Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster said on the radio this morning the Prime Minister is a born winner. I'm glad, he hasn't... I'm glad he hasn't lost his sense of humour. But, but this isn't, Mr Speaker, this isn't a game and for the Government to be five weeks away from leaving the EU without a plan is unforgivable. Yeah.